Uh, what's up, everybody? Aquatic Universe. Just gonna show you an update on the tank and show you the new toys I got. Got a uh, about two MP10 wireless. One on that side. One on that side. I mean, they're all in about medium medium flow right now. About 50% flow right now. And you see what they're doing. So I mean. I think they're going to work out great. I decided to go with the MP10s and not the MP40 because I could only get one MP40 and I got these two MP10s for the price of one. So I got one free. But that's that. Uh, sorry about the noise. Watch out, baby. I will in a second. Anyway, the fish are doing good. I got these new zoanthids. Really nice looking. If you guys know what they're called, let me know. I don't know what that color is called. But. Anyway, I got this anemone from a friend. He's tearing down a tank. So before you guys jump on me, my tank's been up two months. My readings are good. Water parameters and everything. He's going to take it to the local fish store today and keep it in a bucket all night. So I told him I'd put it in my tank. And I decided what to do with it. Let me know if you think I should just take him to the local fish store or not. He seems to be doing fine. I fed, I fed him this morning. He ate fine, everything. He's sticky. His mouth's closed. Good. And all that I've read, he's doing good. But, I mean, my tank's two months old, like I said. I know you're supposed to wait like six months or something. And, you know, I'm not going to... I don't want to hurt a coral. I have no problem taking it to the local fish store. I just have to drive 30 miles to take him to a decent one. I sure as hell ain't taking him to Petco. But, oh yeah, I got some uh, new corals just a minute ago. The rock loaded with kryptonite zoanthids. Uh, let me see if I can. This is a Australomusa coral. Something. It's a green, blue, and red. It gets pretty big. It's closed up right now. These zoanthids are closed up, but pretty rare. The guy told me. And this is a four branched hammer coral. He's all closed up, sucked in his branches or tube or whatever. Anyway, I got all these for 65 bucks. And it's a sweet deal. But all the fish are doing good. These MP10 drop. And then you guys know that now. Totally worth the money. They're about 280 a piece. But it's totally worth it. Like I said, I got lucky, got a great deal. So I went ahead and got them. And I'm not going to do SPS, I decided. I'm going to just keep this light fixture. Oh, I also replaced the bulbs in my light. My Nova Extreme, I got a purple, blues, and daylights, 10,000 Ks. They're all new. So, I'm going to stick with all LPS soft and softies. And oh, here's the yellow Watchman Gobi. That's the spot. I haven't showed you guys him yet. All the corals are laying around because the enemy was moving around. I didn't want him to sting anybody, so. Let me know what you guys think about that enemy. Like I said, if everybody's going to tell me to go ahead and take him and don't chance it, I will. Uh, right now he's doing fine, but like I said, I don't have no problem taking him and giving him away. But, yellow tang, clowns, grass. You can't see his colors with his phone. I'm recording with the phone I got. But pretty, pretty colored grass. A bunch of new orange zoanthids growing on that rock. Everything's looking good, guys. So, like I said, this is on half flow. And I think it's all. I think it's gonna all work pretty good. So, well, let me know what you guys think. The background, so you can see right through it. I gotta put my background wallpaper back on but okay, everything's doing good I got rocks laying around because I had to move stuff a little bit but I'll put it back in place as soon as I know that an enemy is staying put right there so the pulsing zinnia is doing good so got an apostasia an enemy right here 
if you guys can see them or not. I gotta get some of that Joe's juice or whatever and get rid of them. It's the only one I've, I've seen so far, so. Candy cane coral. Right, I'll holler at you guys later. Peace.